Hello all. Welcome back to Peg Leg's Barber Shop. Welcome to Shaving with Peg Leg. And today <clears throat> I'm going to be shaving. Excuse me. Coffee. Ooh. Going to be shaving with a 1960 flare tip. Twist to open that I won at a giveaway from the Cutthroat Journey. Kurt over at the Cutthroat Journey. Um, my camera definitely won't do it justice and his didn't do it justice either. This is a beautiful razor. There's no gouges, there's no scratches, there's no scuff marks, there's no embedded dirt in the handle, in the grooves or anything. I did clean it with toothpaste and a toothbrush and soak it in barbicide, not barbasol like I said last time, but barbicide for 10 minutes and then let it drain and dry out but beautiful razor and we're going to be using an L101 or Alloy I don't know which one it is they're uh, Swedish quality titanium made in Bangladesh second use on this blade and I was outside smoking my pipe this morning drinking my coffee wondering what soap do I use for my shave today and as I was loading more Cavendish into my pipe, Cavendish was what came into the mind. There's the pour again. So that's the soap for today. We're already lathered. This is a warm, I bet I had it soaking in hot water and I just rinsed it out just before I started the camera. Or squeeze it out. Get some water on the face. Neutrogena for a pre-shave, as usual, lately, because I want to get rid of this stuff. You know, I added three shelves in this bathroom. Two two-footers, which you have seen right behind me, and I've got a four-footer here. And I'm already out of shelf space. Well, not out of shelf space, but it's already got a lot more stuff on it than I thought it would have. So, I'm going to be looking to add three more shelves, and one of them is going to be a two footer over here to put my razor stands and my razors in and I'm going to have another one that's about 10 inches that I'm going to put drill holes in to just drop razors into and then I'm going to have a two footer over here underneath the four footer just for putting brushes and I'm probably instead of getting a three inch wide shelf on that I'm probably going to get the six inch piece so I can put more brushes on it. I don't plan on buying a shitload of brushes, but we never plan on anything, but we end up doing it anyways, don't we? I got this brush. This came in yesterday. I don't know if you can read the name on that. It's Harry Ali. The same as this razor. After I bought this razor, oh, a couple days after I bought it, they sent me a message on eBay offering to sell me this brush at $9.40 when I normally sell it for $10.50. So I said, okay. I didn't even have it in my watch list. They just sent me this because I bought the razor. They sent me this and, and to buy it. Sent me a message to buy it, offering to sell it to me for reduced price. So I bought it with tax. 1004. It's heavy. Um, I'm not sure if it's plastic, but it sounds like ceramic to me. It's I know it's not metal. But I think it's ceramic. And it's a 22 millimeter white badger hair brush. 
So for 10 bucks, why not, right? See, that's another thing I like about doing business with eBay. If you buy something from somebody on eBay, and if they sell shade products like Harry Alley does, or actually the dealer on eBay that carries Harry Alley, Ali, Harry Alley products, Harry Alley of London, I think, or it's Harry Alley London. I don't know if it's of London or whatever, but anyways. They will sometimes send you messages to buy other products they sell in that category of whatever category you bought from at a reduced price than what's listed. You don't get that from Amazon. At least I never have. All right, 1960 flare tip with a once used blade, second use on this blade. I'm on three days of growth. The last time I shaved was Saturday. And this is open something up right there. This is my third um, vintage Gillette twist to open. Remember the other day I was saying uh, I had three. I've got a 69 Black Beauty. The long handle, not the short. And I have my 64 J1 um, adjustable, slim, slim twist adjustable. That's my first quarter razor. Oh, wow. I might have to use a different blade. This one might be done already. This one might be done already. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I know these are mild shavers. But that, that felt like almost nothing was taken off. Try again. Yeah, this blade is tugging. This is only second use on this blade too. So that's going in the bin. And we will try a first time treat. Because that, that blade is tugging like crazy now, going across the green. Get on there. Trying to do it on the camera. Okay. better I 
I don't know why that blade was doing that. That was that was horrible. That was yanking hairs out of my face, not cutting them. I felt like I was using a dull cart razor. I'm sure we've all felt that before. on this thing. I know they're mild razors, but damn. So what, what's going on with you guys out there, huh? Anything interesting going on? We're having some beautiful weather right now. This is my favorite time of year down here. This and spring. This more so than spring because I know the cooler weather is coming after this. And spring down here is just like a warm-up. We have two seasons in Florida. We have hot and hotter. Right now we're in the hot season. Hotter season will be April through October. All right, against the grain. see it but there is just a bit of overhang see the overhang on that so must be careful around the ears I'm not even going to try and go across the green on my face, on my neck because I've got these two spots I'm trying to avoid opening up. I, didn't, I thought I opened this one, but I guess I didn't. Because every time the razor goes over it, I can feel it. No, I'm not shaving off my goatee anytime soon. I have more chins than a Chinese phone book. Ain't no way I'm getting rid of this to expose all those chins. Usual spots. So the treat blade caught it up. This is a new brush, and 
and I probably didn't soak it as long as I should have. Oops. Get out of there. I need you on the face, not in the hair. Yeah, I probably didn't soak it as long as I should have. And it's absorbing a lot of the a lot of the soap, a lot of the lather. All right. Just doing the pickups. I didn't want to use a tree blade today, but, well, I just opened that up. Because I was trying to save them for Saturday shave, where I'm going to do the shave off between the Hashir and the Harry Ali razor. So that'll be, that'll be Saturday shave, and I'll, I'll, I'll probably put brand new treats in each one of those. Okay, we're BBS up through here now. Okay, that got it. Yeah, I know there was no there was no soap there, but there was residual slickness. There's a there's. Can you see how easy my fingers are sliding up and down my skin, and the skin's not doing that. It's a lot of residual slickness. So, yeah, those those old Gillettes are generally mild shavers. So that wasn't a surprise to me that it would do that. What surprised me was I'd only used that other blade once. And it was just tugging the hell out of the hairs on my face. Not on the first pass it didn't, but the second pass going across the green was like, holy crap. It just felt like somebody taking tweezers and grabbing a hair and plucking it out of my face. And you don't want that. at all. Nothing up here. Mm. Oh, okay. About a three on that one, about a one on that one. typical you leave the alum on for about 15 20 seconds then you can wipe it off and you use cold water to wipe off the alum not hot I don't know if you guys saw the story the cameras off angle here hang on okay oh. there's a high school football player in New Hampshire suing his school because they suspended him for two days because he expressed his opinion that there's only two genders so they suspended him for two days I guess one day for each gender he said there was I don't know or my viewers you guys are about the same age I am when we went to school and science has pretty much proven this and common sense tells you there's only two genders there's 
male and female. Everything else is your sexual preference. But that's not what they're trying to push. And because a kid expressed that there's only two genders, they suspend him from school? Like I said before, this is not the country I signed up for. Everybody's gone flipping insane with all this woke crap. Plain witch hazel. I don't know what to tell you guys. The world's gone absolutely flipping bananas, bonkers, inside out. There's a saying which is very true. Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men. Weak men create hard times. Right now, we're in the weak men creating hard times phase. Okay, a little Cavendish sampler on the aftershave. Mm, yeah, get that in there so I can smell it all day. <sighs> Had to send my son some money today because the battery on his car went dead and he, he's going to college and because he's on the bowling team and they take trips out of state all the time and on the weekends they're gone on the weekends he can't really work because they need him to work weekends so he relies on me a lot so Dad had to come to the rescue. Aquabella five and one. Just a little bit. But that's the price of having kids. So when they're done with bowling season, he can get a job again, but until then, he can't. Which sucks for me, but what can you do? What can you do? They're your kids, right? You gotta love them. Grandchildren, on the other hand, no, you gotta love them too, but my daughter had demons spawn for children. Let me tell you what. Last time they were here, they tore my house. The door behind me, the oldest one hung off the doorknob and pulled the top hinge right out of the door frame. I had to put longer screws in and thicker screws to put the hinge back up. And I think I told you guys, she sat in my room, pulled my humidor open, and pulled out a cigar that I bought in 2002 that was made from five-year-age tobacco. The tobacco was picked in 97. The cigar was made in 2002. So I'd had that cigar to last year, 18 years, and she tore it apart. It had just bloomed about two weeks before they got here, and I wiped it down, wiped the bloom off of it. She tore it apart and she had its twin because I bought two of them and she had that one sitting on the floor next to her and was getting ready to tear that one apart when I walked in and caught her. <sighs> I mean afterwards all you can do is laugh but at the time oh my god I saved them that long to get them to bloom so they'd be perfect for smoking. 
anyways what I should have done is saved the tobacco and chopped it up and put it in my pipe but I didn't I was so mad I just threw it away but anyways gentlemen 1960 flare tip Gillette mild shaver very mild razors again a twist to open which I'm not crazy about but did a good job once I got a, a fresh blade in it I got just a wee bit through here nothing over here just right through here where I usually do if I if I have any left over it's usually right near and the, and the cheeks are good they're solid they're clear be good enough till Saturday when we'll do a comparison shave and then the winner of that will probably take on this one which won the last challenge between the 10 to 15 dollar razors oops if I don't break the damn thing first all right <laughs> I appreciate everybody stopping by I appreciate my subscribers please like and subscribe let's get the message out there about the best cheap razors you can get for all these guys that don't want to spend 60 plus dollars for a razor all right thanks a lot we're done with the fat guy in the camera you're in the seat next. Happy shaves out there, guys.